Hello, this is Healing Hands, guys. How are you? I hope you're doing okay. Um, let's get your reading in for the day. Um, well, I'm making it sound like it's a daily reading now. <laughs> That's what it is for right now. Um, well, not every day, but every day that I can, I am going to try my best to put something out there for someone out there. All right, so... I know some of you have been finding the readings um, very useful, helpful, and it's resonating. Um, some have said it's like a, an almost personal reading. It's not personal, but it is. It looks like that, right? Okay, let's get a... Um, I don't know why. I wanted to pull that deck, but they are leading me to this one instead. So let me put this one back here. Say, Holy Spirit, let's pull this. And see what message we have there for someone today that can help provide some kind of clarity regarding whatever situation they may be facing energetically. So guys, I want you to understand what this is when we pull your energy. A lot of the things that we are able to tap into as our mediums uh, you know, energies that you've processed already, right? We're able to tell you, like, or even things that are happening in the ethers for you, right, behind the scenes. So a lot of the messages might not be, you know, things that you're, you're you know, that is might be currently going on. I mean, in terms of, like, the present moment, what you're manifesting, it's it's it shows manifestation of your past, all right? Although... It's your past in the ethers, all right? It's already done in the ethers. But when it manifests in your um, reality, it becomes, you know, the present moment. That's why we're able to pull that energy and say, oh, you know, the present, what's going on in your situation presently. You know, it doesn't mean it's right now as we're speaking. It just means it's right now in your reality as it's unfolding, all right? Based on what you've been able to manifest in the ethers, all right? Anyway... Don't let me bore you guys with all of this because I'm sure a lot of people don't care anyway, as long as you all get your messages, right? Okay, there's something unclear to someone and it says money is either tight or not receiving what you expected. And it talks about the answers you are seeking will remain unclear for now. Wow. Wow. It says your basic needs will be met. Wow. Why am I feeling like this is my message? Like, I feel like everything I do is so unclear. Like, I feel like it's unclear. Like, I don't know. And and Spirit is always telling me the answers you are seeking will remain, you know, unclear for now. I mean, there's a reason for your protection. You don't need to know. You have to figure out, like, you have to figure this out, right? So somebody... Might be unclear about something. For somebody, it might be money-related, finances, calculation, whatever has to do with numbers. For some of you, it's just things are not adding up for you. It, it might it might even be in terms of your, um, you know, income might not be adding up. There's short change here, right? But there's something here also telling you to work smart, all right? And it's asking you, are you making it harder than it has to be? So you have to ask yourself, sometimes the solutions are that simple. And it says perhaps it's time to clean house personally and professionally to start with a clean palette. All right. And to stick to basic needs when it comes to spending and putting some money aside. So here, somebody is definitely getting financial advice here. <laughs> it could be me. It could be anybody. Basically, we are meant to put money aside. Work smart and not hard. All right. For some of you, I think this is where spirit is trying to take you to where you are able to work smart and not hard. Where you're, it's like some people are working and have nothing to really show for it. Right. That's what it looks like here. And it talks about some, some entertainer. Some of you could be in the entertainment industry, all right? Or might be doing something in entertainment. And it says, put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so you can get noticed. 
you could be drawn to careers in theater, dancing, music, or any type of entertainment? Is there a talent you could turn into money? Time to think outside the box. Wow. So, some of you might be in entertainment. Some of you might be drawn to entertainment. Some of you might have friends, family, siblings, I don't know, in entertainment. Some of you may have some talents to showcase in entertainment, even if it's not working um, directly in front of the camera. If some of you are camera shy, um, it looks like you might have a calling or something to offer in the entertainment industry, all right? Whatever the case may be, there is a... There is a message here for somebody about entertainment, all right? And there's something here about ancestors. It talks about historical connection and purpose. So I'm also picking up the energy of somebody who's discovering their um, historical connection. Um, I'm picking up some people might need to look into their DNA, right? Um, or some people may have taken that test. Or may need to just start digging to find out your, your roots, your DNA. I just discovered mine. And I know why Spirit is bringing this up. Right before I turned this camera, Spirit wanted me to talk about it. And I'm arguing with Spirit like I'm not talking about this. Like, seriously, it's my journey. Like, I don't need to share any of this with anybody. And, you know, I wasn't going to talk about it. But it looks like Spirit is bringing it out again. And, and, and I'm supposed to talk about historical connection and purpose. And this is crazy because I don't want to talk about this, Spirit. So, basically... um. Um, okay. So basically it's very important for us to find out our ancestry. All right. Our spiritual heritage. Um, a lot of us don't know. And the day you know your sovereignty and your heritage and your royalty and your place in that spiritual, um, ladder, right? Hierarchy of where you, you fall in, you will be, that's when you begin to be empowered about who you really are. And I know it's a difficult way to see. I don't know how to say, you know, go, go look for this thing. But I know that I have been able to use the IFA system. I am not going to lie about it. I've been able to use the IFA system to decode or decipher my ancestry, my historical connection and my, you know, purpose. This I just found out recently, in fact, in the last few days. Because <laughs> Spirit has had me digging in this Ifa system, the Yoruba Ifa uh, traditional system, had me tearing it upside down, trying to recreate something, you know, from it so that other light workers can use. Because everything about the Ifa system right now is in the dark, all right? It's hidden, it's kept, it's secluded, nobody knows, nobody, nobody wants you to know about it. But I think Spirit wants some of it to come to light. So I don't know what they have me doing with it, but... Um, part of it also involves, you know, anyone who goes down that path, all right, will definitely know for sure their, their ancestry, all right, their spiritual legacy, spiritual ancestry. Um, and you will understand if you are here on earth for a good mission or for bad mission, or you're here representing, you know, if you're an earth angel, you will find out, all right. If you're just somebody who's, um, you know, being protected on this journey, you'll find out. If you are um, somebody who's working for the dark side, you will find out. Because what I found out about this whole system as, as Spirit was has been leading me through it and teaching me is that it, it's a lot of energies of masculine and feminine energies, all right? And some, it's like 256 life paths, right? <laughs> that has been broken down to 256, 16 times 16 it's like i don't know how to explain all of this it's complicated spirit this is not the time oh my god all right let's move on maybe i'll get into it some other time but there's something here about spirit wanting us to dig and find our historical connections and purpose and i'm telling you if you can find out what this is for you and whoever you want to get married to, like, based on what I know now, right? There is no way I'm going to marry somebody. I'm going to, like, commit myself to anybody without knowing their ancestry, without knowing their Ifa Odu, the Ifa name, all right? You need to know your own name and, and the part, your partner's name so you can compare. That's the true way of finding out your ancestry. Anyway, some people know, but they still haven't been able to find out their ancestry, right? But I'm telling you, Spirit has led me down that path of digging and actually going through the spiritual 
you know, family tree and discovering, oh, this is my lineage spiritually. This is where I fall. And I can tell you, based on what I know and what I had known prior, but now clarity that I know, I mean, I, I, I'm glad that I know what I know now. <laughs> All right. And that's why I'm like, maybe everybody needs to really understand their divinity because that, that is so empowering. But there's something here about sensitivity and strength. I know it's a sensitive subject, spirit. All right. It's a sensitive subject, spirit. I don't want to talk about it. Right. It's sensitive and it requires a lot of strength to talk about these things. All right. Because like I said, they are hidden. They are not naked to the naked eye, obvious eye, you know, but it's a lot about balancing the feminine energy. And guys, everything I'm digging through and finding out the feminine energy, even though that's what a lot of us need to embrace. Some people, some of us don't need to embrace the feminine um, energy. So, you know, because I've seen a lot of readers or even people talk about, oh, you know, we're shifting from the masculine to the feminine. And which is true. We are meant to be shifting from the masculine to the feminine because the masculine energy is actually about light. It's the feminine energy that is about darkness, right? And the darkness is what needs to come to light. So I feel like it's for, for it's, for it's the feminine energy that needs to come to light, right? That you need to balance. All right, basically, and that's what is highlighted in the Ifa system. All right, I am done talking about the Ifa system spirit. Um, all right, yeah, I'm done. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> they have me digging and digging and digging. All right, so there's something about you and your ancestry. Maybe some of you are uh, trying to discover your ancestry, or some of you have, or are trying to, or need to. Um, for some of you, your ancestry might be a very sensitive, touchy subject for you. Um, but spirit is maybe encouraging you to tap within uh, and, and start asking those questions. Those questions are very important if you're going to really discover who you truly are and your mission. I tell people to do the life purpose um, reading. I don't really offer them anymore because it's time consuming. It takes me three to five days to even get 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 it out and it, it just takes a lot of my energy um but if you can find somebody who can do like a life purpose reading for you that would also help you figure out a little bit about who you are all right because we need to first of all discover who we are all right before any of this can make sense it or else it wouldn't make any sense all right and i just have like 20 cards thrown at me and we're not going to take all 20 of them. So, because I'm not looking to take all 20. Spirit. All right. Maybe nothing here because I've shuffled that for a little bit. So, let's try this one, Spirit. Okay. Let's try this. Right, guys. So, but there's something here telling you to work smart. All right. Okay. Let's see. There's something here about honor your feelings. It talks about thank you. Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So we're picking up the energy that we did a few days ago. I was it yesterday or a couple of days ago about your emotions and releasing your emotions. So there's something here again telling you, you know, some of you are honoring your feelings or some of you need to acknowledge your emotions as you purge, as you go through them, as you do your self-review. Um, as you understand the reason why, you know, you need to release them. There's something here that says don't deem to fit in. This came out the other day too. I think, you know, we're having a lot of repetitive energy. So it says, how are you deeming your light in order to fit in? Some of you may still be in this energy since we picked it up a few days ago of, you know, trying to fit in. So this might be an area, a blind spot that you need to start paying attention to, that you need to work on. Um... You need, might need to work on that, right? Um, maybe Spirit is calling that out again. Like, I know some of you are working on different aspects, but you might need to, like, um, pay attention to this aspect of you trying to, like, people please or, you know, just, you know, try to, like, dim your own light. Like, Spirit wants you to shine. You're meant to shine. You're not meant to fit in. You're not meant to dim your light for anybody, okay? There's something here about keepers of the earth. And it talks about you are not alone, all right, ancient ancestors stand beside you all week. Oh, we've been getting messages about your ancestors, your warrior guides, your spirit team. Everybody's with you. Like whatever fear that you may have, spirit is trying to, you know, like alleviate that fear. All right, and tell you don't worry about anything. Spirit has got you. Okay, whatever the case may be, be relaxed and know that spirit got your back. All right, okay, bye guys. <laughs> this is Alien Hands. All right.